Chelsea boss Antonio Conte wanted to keep Nemanja Matic, and when the player was sold, had conditions over who he wanted to replace him, and Danny Drinkwater was not it. That's according to Duncan Castles, who thinks that Conte is not overly keen on the midfielder Chelsea made a last gasp bid for on deadline day, and would have preferred someone who was of a higher quality. I think there's no way you can describe him as an equivalent to Nemanja Matic, Castles said on the Transfer Window podcast. It's classic Chelsea where they cash in on a player that another side wants and then they spend less on the replacement to bring in. He's not the player Conte wants as a second midfielder. Conte's position was that he would be happy to accept Matic being sold but he would want to get two replacements, back a Yoko which he got and a player of similar quality. Chelsea have allowed a key player to go to a rival where he could become a key player this season. Conte won't be provided with a replacement he wants, which is what Chelsea are doing across the entirety of the team. Paul Window given Chelsea have four competitions to contend with and fight to retain their title this season, it makes sense Antonio Conte was desperate to get two players who could be defined as world-class for each position, something that certainly has not been the case. There has of course also been the issue surrounding Ross Barkley, who may or may not have turned Chelsea down during his medical, and the fact that the Blues could well be heading into a legal case with Diego Costa, who is refusing to rejoin the club and is in exile in Brazil. That could well cause yet more problems for the Blues, who have Alvaro Morata, who is trying to get to grips with life in the Premier League, and also Michi Batshuyi, who seems to have tried and failed to impress manager Conte over the last season and a bit. Danny Drinkwater, Nemanja Matic, Chelsea, Antonio Conte.